Friday, but not Friday. Don't you love that? Yeah. We, <laughs> yeah. There's, there's a couple days in between Wednesday and Friday. Just one. And that's today. That's today. <laughs> <laughs> oh Guys, we have been oh having a time and a half here at the office today. Um, I do want to let you all know we have filmed our official uh, house tour. Rachel, I huh? think it was amazing. Oh, it was, listen. I mean, I was wonder. shook. Me and Tanner are pros. I mean, we had Kevin filming. We had Rachel producing. Okay. We had Becca Modern and Otto. Raise your hand. Who remembers Kevin? I don't think anybody's going to remember Kevin. I don't think we've talked about Kevin. I mean, we, no, no, no. There's a difference from talking about and remembering. Oh, okay. That's true. Kevin's our awesome videographer, and he's amazing. So we had him come today and film a bunch of stuff for us, and we've had a lot of fun. Um, Rachel's just been slave driving over here. Oh. Becca's been making some paper flowers. Oh. Courtney just got here. Court, you want to come say hi? No, she says she doesn't look good enough right now. So, okay. Well, Courtney just drove a long time, but Courtney's out of school for seven weeks. Seven. We almost two full months and we are two so Two full, almost two we're, full months. We're stuck with her, Tanner. What are, we're going to get so spoiled. I know. We're not going to let her go back uh -uh. to school. Nope. <laughs> so, it's going to be a lot of fun. But in today's video, we are going to be able to talk about making some amazing distressed home decor for Christmas. You guys know um, that this is amazing and we absolutely love it. So, you guys need to definitely hop up over um and grab this cut file because we're gonna do a print and cut and we're actually believe it or not going to use regular vinyl you guys love when we debate about iron-on or different things like that for wood well in today's video we're gonna use just regular vinyl for a few reasons this is painted wood um and this is using chalk paint so it is pretty thick um, so we're going to go over all the tips on distressing. We have this one right here that we're going to be using. We've already given it two coats of paint. One coat is the red and one coat is the white. So when we say give it two coats of paint, whatever color you want to shine through the back, um, you want to put on first. And then your second color will be, dun, 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 will be the top color. Okay. All I you'll love need. distress projects. I mean, this looks like so like cute. store freaking bot. Like this is amazing. Um, and we're going to be really excited to share it with you. Guys, I know a lot of you are going to go ahead and ask where the heck did you get this piece of wood? Because it is super trendy. Rachel, let's give them that second camera because we have a tag. It is from the Hobby Lobby from the wood pile selection, $9.99, but we've got that 40% off coupon if it's not on sale or you're going to be able to, um, you know, get it sometimes 50 percent off like super good so it's the wood pile section um this is the I'm trying to see what, what they called this one it's the they, it's called the scroll shaped wood canvas huh i've never considered this scroll shape a scroll shaped, huh becca you're shaking your head yes is that what you would call this if i could hold it the right way uh, yeah, I thought it was like a little yeah. scallop, you know, like a little tag and cricket um, and things like that. But anyway, so that's what this is. If you want to make one like us, um, you'll be able to. We're going to give you guys all the tips and tricks to master print and cut vinyl and be also able to use just a sheet of Oracal. 651 yep. um, be able to cut out the j and the y to make this adorable joy um, we're using two fonts or excuse me one font and a cut fall um, the one we used on here is barefoot joanna but we're going to show you another great option for a font as well um, this is the print and cut and it's so adorable yeah, we're showing you guys a lot of options because the one that's pre-finished it's actually HTV. This the one is. we're going to show you today mm -hmm. is going to be regular adhesive vinyl. We're showing you different yeah. fonts. And the only reason why we're not painting one live, I know you guys love watching us paint, is because it's those two coats. So right. You, got it. you, got you to have to really clean. let both, you have to let yeah. both dry. Yeah. And if you've ever, now this is, you guys know we are impatient crafters here, so I can share with this with you because I know I'm with good company. Um, my biggest pet peeve slash I hate when this happens to my crafts is when I painted something just like this and I try to sand it too soon. If you're trying to sand wood too soon after um, it's dried, it's going to gunk up on you. So if that's ever happened, I just got to watch Becca's hand get burnt by the amazing hot glue gun. She is very, she's very upset. 
This is so funny. Anywho, um, hello everyone. Um, but yay, so we're super excited and we're really excited to jump into this project. Let us know what questions you guys have. I do want to let you all know um, if you want to win an iPad and you're a Makers Gonna Learn member, post your testimonial over in the Facebook group. Rachel, there's so many. There um, are so I'm going to have to ask customer service to like organize it for me. I want to, I don't know if I need to do a video reacting to all of these because I'm afraid to like read them all on my spare time because I want to like maybe potentially film a video about it. Um, they're so sweet. They're so sweet. There's some amazing videos. So if you guys want to leave a t your Makers Gonna Learn testimonial, we would love to read it. Um, and then second of all, if you want to make a video testimonial, I've seen a few. Um, so be sure to uh, share that. Rachel, could you grab me the chalk paint that we use so we could show for any new factor? Sure, absolutely. Or, oh, Beck, it looks like, Becca, are you running to grab it? Oh, thanks, hey, Beck. Beck is um, she's, and she's Tanner up Denver on there. said, I hey, just became a member last night. <gasps> Yay! So excited. Love you guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are so excited to have you. Any member considering joining, be sure to take full advantage of it. <gasps> Thank you, dear. Um, we Thank use... You, the deco art chalky finish paint so this is really good paint we love it here um it's got two coats of this stuff on there and it hides that red and guys red is a hard color dye that's like true to hide. it's beautiful it, and it lasts forever yeah and what i love about chalk paint is you do not have to use a lot of it at all and it dries a lot quicker Tanner. yes and you get a matte finish there's no glossy mess there's no semi-gloss nothing like that you're gonna get this amazing amazing um, matte chalky finish um, so it is a lot a lot of fun and yes so um, we're super super excited for that and I'm just really excited Rachel I mean there's a lot of things we got to do so we need yeah. to jump on in um, are there any questions before we jump over to design space? Why chalk paint instead of acrylic paint? Ooh, um, great question. So if you're going to do any distress project, acrylic paint is not going to allow you to be able to sand it like we're able to do so here and get these lines and the detail with distress paint. Acrylic is just like a lot different, um, you know, made out of different like particles or however you want to talk about that um the chalk just really you know it's thicker and it's more matte so it's a lot a lot of fun so and tanner we have yeah. like three four different questions they're all popping up do you seal this with anything um you don't have to i'm not sealing mine if you're keeping it inside um you don't have to now some people like to seal like any distress project with some clear wax feel free to do that yeah, maybe some Mod Podge if yeah. you're feeling frisky, mm -hmm. if you're really wanting to. Mm -hmm. But really, it's not going to come up on you. And if this you looks vinyl, really good, and it's so smooth. It is. Smooth. I mean, it's really smooth. Sorry if to you use, No, you're fine. <laughs> if you use vinyl like we do, you can actually use this for other projects and peel that vinyl mm -hmm. up and save it for exactly. next year or something like that. Which Whereas yeah. if you use HTV, you kind of can't do that. That's right. So this one's very permanent. So yeah. Okay, what was those other questions? Um, do you have to seal it? That's what we okay. got. Those. Yeah, oh, okay. Okay. Cool. 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 Mm -hmm. Welcome, Kimberly. Everyone's welcoming Kimberly. Yay! Oh, I just joined the membership last night, hoping oh. Cricket can replace my damaged machine. So I remember oh, this, no. Miss Kimberly Tanner. She got a machine shipped to her house, Kimberly. and her delivery boy threw it over a fence, and her dogs chewed it up. Yeah. Well. Kimberly, I'm sure Cricket is go do you right. They have That's really great customer me. service. They yeah. have great customer service. Welcome to the membership, though. I'm glad nobody's throwing your membership to the dogs. Hey, that me too. We're <laughs> over fences. <laughs> but anyway, we're really excited. So we can go ahead and jump into Cricket Design Space to kind of share with you guys what we've got going on um, with today's project. I'm super excited for this one. So this right here, we have the font Relish. This is another great complimenting font. Guys, this is so good. I don't know which one I like better, honestly. So as you guys know, all of our cut files are available to our members, um, whether you're monthly, whether you're yearly, anything like that, you will have access to this. So this is the Makers Gonna Learn Christmas Wreath 2. Um, you'll be able to check this out if you want over on the site. Just search wreath. Look at all these wreaths, Rachel. They're I had so no idea. Cute. Okay, I need to decide which maker is going to learn tag I'm going to use for all my presents because there are so many good ones. You can I use the coffee tags. That one was cute. Those are adorable. Um, for our company Christmas. Um, but I love it. Um, with 
you know, everything. So there's a few others. I think I may use some of these awesome uh, Maker's Go Learn Christmas wreath tags because if you look at them, they kind of match any vibe. And with the way we're doing our gift wrapping, I think it could be really cool. So I'll probably do that one. I'll let you guys know and probably share in the Facebook group myself. But we have a lot of different wreaths and I think we have even more. So feel free to hop around. But you can see um, the little wreath we're using right here is this one and it's so whimsical it's from one of our more recent christmas collections yeah, right rachel it's really cute and it's literally made to be this print and cut like it's yeah. made to do this it's absolutely gorgeous mm -hmm. and uh, talking about our fonts too uh, miss christina's here miss adeline's mom is her handle i haven't seen you on here in a while miss christina Hope hi miss well. christina she says the barefoot joanna is one of her go-to fonts Yay. we all have i think we all have five to ten go-to fonts you know oh my gosh i love it um rachel can we just take a moment do you see those emojis that's a lot of emojis. That's some emojis. Look Those are some good ones. Sabrina. Sabrina. I finally did it. I joined Makers Gonna Learn a couple days ago. No more creeping no more on creeping. the channel for me. I'm a part of the Makers Gonna Learn family. Just waiting for my machine to come in. Sabrina, Sabrina welcome, welcome, welcome. She knows what's good. She's uh -huh. researching. She is getting her god. She is able to get all the details um, on the membership. So yay! Download those Cricut guides um, to help you master your machine. We are so excited. And Maria says, Tanner, how long do we have to enter in the testimonials? Okay, so as you guys know, we're giving away an iPad to end out the big long giveaway. And I want to give everyone the possibilities to enter their testimonials. So we're going to probably um, extend that for probably announce the winner on Saturday. So we'll give you guys today and tomorrow, and then we'll go pick the winner um, on Saturday. So it's gonna be crazy. Um, and we're really, really excited. So anyway, we are so pumped up for this cut fall. Um, it is the wreath. And what we're going to do is just go over and after you kind of grabbed your wreath, if you're a yearly member, you'll have access to our fonts. Now, I don't know why, but like, Everyone has their fonts that they love. Barefoot Joanna is one of my absolute favorites. It's cute. And I think because Barefoot Joanna came into my life after I got on this big like Ray Dunn inspired phase and I wanted to use a font that was very similar that could kind of be put on everything and it was really cool. Um, so it is a lot of, a lot of fun. So we love Barefoot Joanna. Now, Rachel, which one's your favorite? Like you picked out Relish for this one. I like Relish. Do you okay, have any I others love that you love? Mary Catherine. <gasps> Oh Mary my Catherine's gosh, good. we love that one yes. too. Mm -hmm. Mary Catherine's a really good one. And as you guys can see, we have the banner of Mary Catherine and we have the regular Mary Catherine. There's like the pennant banner, the regular mm -hmm. banner, and then the actual font, which is so great. Yes, and if you guys forgot, one of our members and Courtney developed the banner fonts, which are so adorable. We could easily um, do this for a party or anything like that um, and have a lot of fun with it. So you could do Merry Christmas. I have a video using the banner fonts if you guys would like to know more. So it's a lot, a lot of fun. So yay. But anyway, guys, what we're going to do is we're gonna go over to Cricut Design Space and we are going to set it up. So we've just went ahead and set up um, the font, which is J and Y, and then we're gonna do this adorable print and cut, and it's gonna be great. So yes. we're gonna be able to print it out on um, the printable vinyl, and then we're going to cut the J and the Y. So here's and guys, how we the do only it. reason you want wouldn't want to use a font like Ballin or like Community is because those are uh, scripty fonts, and you can't attach it to anything because right. our O is this beautiful little wreath there. So that is something to think about. I've had some people. Uh, mention some of those which those are great fonts though Beautiful. yeah so what I love is that we kind of organize all our fonts in you know a few different categories you'll notice that there's far less categories um, for the fonts at, than our uh, cut files so I like I, I personally like the less I do categories too. I do too. my it, favorite thing to do is to click view all I'm not even joking oh and they're just mixed to get, in just to yeah. go through there and just look at them all it's just it's great that's true that's true here's Rachel's font can we just talk about how Rachel has a font and I don't I don't oh, know what's going here on I haven't found one as special as you oh are. here we go <laughs> <laughs> Becca oh, doesn't Becca, have a font Becca doesn't have does Courtney have a font it's quirky court quirky court oh it's so adorable i love it i forgot about this one this was part of the first launch that looks just like her it looks just like her it's but really i would cute. never see her use it does that make sense 
Yeah. Like, I feel like... I don't know if I've used mine. Maybe once or twice. It's cute. But I feel like it's totally you. Yeah, I agree. Blake yeah. will point out his oh, font Lord. everywhere. If you guys have not downloaded the Blake, like Blake's font, it's really good. And it's just like all around. First of all, it's great for guys, but um, we really love the Blake font yeah. just for a really nice, bold project. There's a lot of great blocky fonts. Check yeah. it out is a good one. Brock the Jock is a fun one like that. Mm -hmm. There's several there. I love Brock the Jock. That one's a really good one. Um, but anyway. So we are over here. We are going to be able to print this out and we're just going to pray. We're just going to say pray um, over here to make sure that it's go print because we've been having some trouble printing and I don't know if it's us. I don't know if it's our computer or what. So we're going to see if it wants to print. Becca, do you just want to stay there and see what happens? <laughs> but yes, so we're going to let that print out. And it's a lot of fun. Oh, and Michael. Yeah, Elaine pointed out Michael is a really great font too. Oh right. my gosh. Wait, I named Michael after one of my other friends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But fun fact that not a lot of people know, Michael is my actual first name. It is. Yep. Rustic Michael and Michael. Ooh. Court, what'd you say? What'd you say? She didn't know. Oh my gosh. Oh my Court's I like she doesn't know my first name. <laughs> hey Rachel, do you want to look and see what the printer says down there on the desktop? Sure thing. You can, can take my mouse. Steal your mouse. Okay. It said oh look, it's right here. Oh no. Look, printer looking for printer. Oh no. Uh -oh. We just made sure it could print too. Uh huh. Did wait, 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 I said I don't think we've sized this. This is Maybe good. it's God's this gift. This is good. Here, you can take your mouse back. We didn't even size it. Oh my gosh. Look at Diddy Bitty. I'm cracking up. I'm cracking Listen, up. Listen, neither of us caught it, so oh that's my gosh. fine. Well, give me the overhead camera real quick so we can talk about sizing and making sure everybody knows how to size Sounds their projects. Sounds good, or else we'd have been <laughs> that's so funny. learning our lesson later. That's true. <laughs> We've been wasting material. Um, anyway, guys, so we're going to measure this. So you'll have about, um, I'll say 11 inches by about seven inches that you'll be able to work with. So I'll just size this to um, 11 and then be able to see if the hot is gonna be good or not. So got a little bit of like 11 by seven um, and it's a lot, a lot of fun. So we're gonna just go go back and cancel this out here. None of us noticed. <laughs> I love that. Like we were just really confident We were in ourselves. rolling right with it. That's true. Um, so we've got, oh, it was only three inches yeah, tall. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Uh, we'll do, we'll see what it looks like at 11 wad. Oh, Miss Bonita, she said, I just got my Cricut Maker and was sick for three days last week and I just discovered you all. I'm so <gasps> thankful for you. I've been telling all my friends about you all. Yay! Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. We love that. It is awesome. So we're just gonna go over here and we're gonna kinda enlarge this just a little. And then we're going to just kinda size it and kinda play around. Just like so. Yay! This is a good font to uh, to do this with too. Some fonts yes. you will distort very easily. That's true. This, this uh, I think this relish, this is a good one to uh, yep. be able to distort a lot. Oh, for sure. It's really awesome. So now that we've sized it properly, we're going to go over to make it. Much better. Much better. Mm -hmm. Much, much better. So we're going to actually just go over here. I'm going to close out some things. I'm going to look for the printer. Um, I wonder where my little printer thing went. Oh, right. We exited out. Hold on one second. Send to printer. Print. And we'll see if it wants to print for us. A little, did the printer thing pop up over on your side, Rachel? Yeah, let me grab it. I'm gonna steal your mouse. Okay. So it says, oh, there it is. It says offline, it's looking for printer. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. But, um, do you want to save it and me try and print it from my laptop? Yeah, we'll go ahead and save it. Um, we'll go ahead and uh, 
be able to cancel this out. Guys, sometimes this will happen and you just have to roll with it. So we're going to open this project up on Rachel's computer and see if it will print out because we think it is, um, you know, one of, I think it's a computer issue. I have no Could idea. Could be. You never know. <clears throat> so we're just going to name that Joy. And we have a great question. Um, Elaine says, do you put the bleed on? It's been a while for me. So yeah, we traditionally use bleed. Um, you don't always have to use it, but if you ever have like a, like a hair off, it's kind of helps just a little bit, but it's really great. So I've just saved that. And Rachel's going to see if we can print it over on hers. Um, so feel free. This is a great time for you guys to ask us questions and, you know, during technical difficulties, we've got to make the best out of it. Um, so we're just going to answer all the questions that you guys may have or anything like that. <gasps> See, listen to that. Rachel's printer is just rolling. So I'm just going to press make it and then we're going to be able to press continue and we'll just press, uh, click we've already printed. Julia says, I'm new to all Cricut. What is print? How do you do that? Well, Miss Julia, we are able to set up our image in Cricut to do a print and cut. So we have cut files that allow you to be able to print and then cut. So do you want to give me that overhead and we will look at it. Um, so this is the file that we were able to print. It's now printing three. So I love that, but <laughs> you never know, <laughs> you never know you get one going and the others just start coming. But here's what we got going on. So for ours, I just want to show you for the, our finished one, you can see on a lot of our print and cut files, we give a white border on the background to make sure you have effortless results and it's more like a sticker. Um, and when you put it on white, it doesn't really matter. So what we've got right here is to take this, put it down just like so. You put it on your mat and you'll notice there's this black um, bar box around it. And this is the registration marks. So if you guys want to learn exactly how to do print and cut, we have our amazing videos um, for all of print and cuts and things like that. And it's really, really good. And we so, also have a cheat sheet in our printable guide. We do. This guide is available all to members mm -hmm. and there is a great cheat sheet sheet, a cheat sheet <laughs> in the back of the sheet. book yeah. <laughs> um, that you guys can check out and it's really good. So now we'll be able to load this in, select our printable vinyl as our material, and then be able to go through and cut this out. And Rachel, we saw someone ask if we have a coupon for our monthly membership. Ooh. We do not you, discount. You just missed it. Well, we don't, dis we've never discount. Well, we don't, we haven't in over a year discounted the monthly membership. So we don't plan on discounting that ever again. Um, $19.99 a month for access to over 1,500 cut files. All the printable guides, our member only Facebook group, and so much more um, is definitely in very easily worth $19.99 a month. Um, so, if you guys, you know, want to try it out, I highly recommend you um, to do that. So, yay! Davy says she's never printed anything before. She's still oh. new to the whole cricket world. It's awesome. You'll love it when you decide to. It really elevates yourself. Um, Rachel, Tim was over, and he was in the he was in the warehouse uh -oh. looking at. Uh, he saw that avocado card. Oh yes. And he asked if he could have it. Did you give it to him? I gave it to him. Good. And then he sat here. I cut him a little an insert for the card. Stop. And he wrote a little note to his little girlfriend. It was adorable. It was really adorable. He's really smitten with her. I know. I know. I know. That's sweet. I also gave Tim his Christmas present last night, and he thought I had got. He, he, Joseph was over, um, and as I went upstairs to get it for him, he. Uh, he asked Joseph what I had got him, and Joseph what? like, oh. he's like, I don't know. And he said, well, we talk about cleaning, so maybe you got me some cleaner. Clean and then, cleaner. And then he said, then he said, well, maybe you got me a vacuum. <laughs> and then he said, oh, I bet he got me a steam mop. Are you kidding me? Just what? like, you know, I got him a new want, wallet. Does he want cleaning products? Like, is that like well, a Well, it's like an inside, it's not an inside joke, but we joke about, he has a dog that sheds a lot. Oh. So that's the only thing I could think of. We never really talk about it. But, um, yeah, it's just so funny. Yeah. I I've been terrible. Rachel's already got her Christmas gift. She's been rocking it. Yes. Oh, yeah. She's loving it. It's my favorite thing. <laughs> um, but, yes. So, we're just going ahead and... Ooh, um, Tanner, is this an inkjet printer? Yes. So, 
the print and cut only works with inkjet printers. It actually does not work with lasers because the scanner in here could not read if it was, um, you know, like a regular laser. So let me go ahead and share with you guys, just because I know a lot of you may be like, what is going on? Um, look at this right here. So, oh, Tanner, I just want to let you know, Patsy, the one who asked about the um, a coupon for the membership. Hey, Miss Patsy. Said, okay, I'm going to sign up anyway. <laughs> Woohoo! You'll love it. You'll, it is truly worth it. Um, and then, you know, later, if you decide you want in on a better deal and get access to the fonts and things, you can go ahead and become a yearly member. So, but monthly, it's a great way to try it out and make sure you love, love, love it and you actually use it um, for a month or so. And then you'll be able to take full advantage. So look at this, Rachel. Within, That's really like you cool. download the file, you upload it, and it's already set up. And you see, we leave these white borders on here. I prefer that. Um, it just makes it look a little bit more cleaner. Mm -hmm. So that one's good. And now what we're going to do Let's go ahead and peel this up. And Tanner, who's Tim? Oh, Tim's just one of my friends. <laughs> He's a school teacher. Um, yeah. I met him at. What are you doing? Oh, Rachel, I don't know what I'm. Are we go print and cut more? Sure, if you, want to, <laughs> if you want to. I just get so excited about print and cut. Just kidding. So we're using a sheet of Oracle 651. This is the same, um, you know, awesome vinyl that we use. You could use Cricut vinyl, anything like that. And Tanner, um, just when you're done with that, and maybe when it's cutting, can you show Miss Eliza what type of printable uh, vinyl yes, you use? Yes, 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 yes. Let me go ahead, leave it on the overhead, and we'll talk sure? about sure. this as I uh, And we're just going to put that on our vinyl setting. So guys, there's so many different types of you know, vinyl and printable vinyl and things you could use. This is the Cricut printable vinyl, and it works great. So yeah, we love this. And you totally can print a regular printer paper, but it just won't be like, it won't be like a sticker like vinyl did. Yes, that's true, that's true. So you could use regular sticker paper, but we like printable vinyl. It's thicker, it's, you know, nicer, a little, it's a little bit nicer, and it's really great. So anyway, while, since that's cutting out, we, again, we're talking about distressing. So if you guys raise your hand, raise your emojis, raise a comment up if you have ever distressed a piece of wood, because we love being able to distress wood and make really awesome projects with our Cricut machine. Um, these are really good and they're really, really awesome. So being able to do that, you're gonna want to paint it two coats. You're gonna to wanna to paint this one coat with um, you know, your color on the back, so your red, and then you're gonna to wanna to do a second and probably potentially a third coat of your top color, which is our white today. So let us know if you've ever um, you know, did anything about this and whatnot. It is so much fun to distress your materials and things like that um, with your wood. It is just a really great way to have a distressed look, really affordable, and again, you can use chalk paint. So after you know, you're able to do that, the secret is um, you're going to be able to sand it, and it's a lot of fun. And we have Miss Denise saying, been trying to talk to my husband into yearly, but he is such a totwad when he pinches every penny. Does he not know that's the better deal? It's the better deal. You can say $48 being a yearly member instead of being a monthly member for a year, you get access to more. And I give you three training classes. So you'll really master your machine complimentary, which would normally cost you like an extra $150. So that's crazy. Um, but yes, so then you have to get a sanding block right here. And this is like a 220 sanding block, I believe. Um, so it's a lot, a lot of fun and it's gonna be so good. We are gonna take it right here and we're just going to start sanding certain areas. So right here, we're just working it in. And Sarah has never distressed wood before. Oh my gosh, look at how easy it is. Like we're already, we're already distressing her. Look at that. So you can just kind of lightly go over, you know, a whole area and sand it down. It does take a while. And I like to do this um, to get away, get rid of uh, any paint strokes as well. So notice when you start lightly sanding, you start getting to see the wood grain. I like that. I do too. Don't you? I think it's cool. Yeah. It reminds me of when you use crayons over a drawing when you're little yeah. and you see what's underneath. First thing I thought of.
So yeah, we'll just go lightly go over the whole thing and then I'll pick certain areas to kind of go in and go deeper. So you can see this edge. I love doing the edges. They're probably my favorite. Tanner, I don't think that we have distressed wood in so long. Rachel, we used to do it all the time. I know. It's crazy. Yeah, it is really it's is. It's beautiful. It shows about our favorite trends and things, but look at how easy it is to do. Like, you just dive right in. You pick a certain area. You go real deep with. I'm all for making things look a little more aged. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's very easy when you got that farmhouse vibe going. For sure. Rachel, I heard we're going to Olive Garden tonight. Are, are you excited? You heard I? I heard we are. Okay, yes, we. Yeah, yes. that's what I meant. I said I, and I was like, no, no I, I thought said, you were going to. I said we. I, that's yeah, what I'm I meant to say. I may have not said that. I don't know. Hey, listen, to celebrate I, Courtney's uh, seven-week vacay from Seven school. weeks of being a free chicken. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm excited. I know. What, Did she what tell you about order? the chocolate lasagna, Tanner? No. That's a dessert they have, and it's very, very good. Uh, when have you got it? Oh, several times. <gasps> and then I got it for her for the first time. I think she really liked it. Uh, I've never... I don't know like if I've She loved it. I've yeah. never got a dessert there, I don't think. It's so good. It tastes like, um, like a dense cake. Not quite brownie yet. And then, oh. like, a, it kind of tastes cheesecake in the middle. Very uh -huh. good. Very good. Okay. Sounds like I would be all about it. It's very good. Cool. Huh. This is an arm workout. I wish would I had... Would you like a, uh, a Clorox wipe for your hands? Not when I'm done. Okay. Um, I would recommend having a few different grits of sandpaper. I'd probably recommend having another one that's a little bit deeper than this one um but it's totally fun so but look at these edges guys i mean it is coming up it is so good um but yes it is so good so here we go Yes, try the try the chocolate lasagna or dessert lasagna or something like that i forget what it's called it's good though Do you need another sanding block? No. Wait, we're, we're going. We're making progress here. I think it's beautiful. I do too. I love this. I didn't even think about getting different grits. That's a good tip. Yeah, I would definitely recommend having a few different grits so that when you want to make your your real detailed. And sometimes I find that with a sheet of sanding paper, you can kind of like fold it with your finger and go really deep. It's kind of hard to get that going with this sometimes, but these are not ruined at all you just with the chalk someone asked earlier like why can you sand this and you know why can you not do acrylic paint do you know see how it's like chalky like mm -hmm. this is a true chalk paint yeah. so it's a lot easier to sand um so you just want to be careful about that and tanner Teresa wants to know would crackle work or would that be too much um, that would be a little, you know, different. I, I think you could totally do that and have a look, but it just wouldn't be the same. So, and Miss Leanne, it was uh, chalk paint. The red was chalk paint as well. But uh, I mean, if you don't have red chalk paint, you can use acrylic for underneath. But we do recommend that chalk for the I'm, outer edges. I'm cracking up at Elizabeth, uh, Isabel. Yeah, I'm finally getting to see Tanner with his hands dirty. Is she not walking? Like, I feel like I'm pretty dirty, Rachel. I think you're pretty dirty too. Apparently and you have Clorox sauce behind you. Oh, uh, thank you, dear. I'm so excited. So now we're go. I'm gonna use the out rubbing alcohol. I want to see how well it picks up. Tanner, you need to moist. at least wipe it off first. I want to see what the moisture does. Oh my lord! Look at this, Rachel. Look at Heaven. This. I'm, I've got two pieces of paper towels, so I'm gonna make them both work good. Okay. So we're just I love seeing that wood grain. I know. And this one looks totally different than the other one. And you can, that kind of shows like what the different uh, pieces of 
sandpaper it does. And Alicia, yes, we painted it red and white and rosy. We got the sign from Hobby Lobby. Yes. If you scroll back, if you guys need, you can watch it again because we shared the exact coupon, or it's not coupon code, um, the exact like barcode so you guys could search it or find it in store and things like that. But yeah, look at this. And Tanner Marie says, if I have spray paint on something, could I put chalk paint over top of that and distress it? Yes, you could. Um, feel free. And Wes, we are going to extend that until Saturday. Uh, so we are not announcing the winner of that yet. We're going to let some more entries come in. Yes, we're going to make sure that everybody gets their testimonials in. But we've been loving everyone's testimonials yes, we have. and did you say wes is here wes <gasps> uh i believe wes is the one that i was telling you about rachel that you yeah. have to watch his testimonial mm -hmm. crazy is story. he the truck driver was he the i believe truck? so <laughs> i want to say i want to say he is um i'm That's pretty amazing. sure his name i watched it like right before i went to bed last night uh, and i was like almost tearing up i was like this is the nicest thing anyone's ever said um <laughs> it was really nice like i was shook um but anyway, we're, we've been able to distress this with some sandpaper um, and have a lot of fun. Now, guys, we really can't use any um, any transfer tape today, so we're gonna kind of freehand it. Yeah, freehand it up. I just gave it to you just in case yeah. you're feeling frisky. No worries. But, and also, guys, I would not recommend using regular transfer tape, if any. When you're right. using print and cut on printable uh, vinyl or printable. Me and Rachel vinyl. had a craft felt one time. Uh -huh. Let me just be real. It scarred us enough. It did. To where we have never wanted to use regular transfer tape on a project again. And I think it was just because of, again, I know we talked about it yesterday on the show. Um, the, what would you say, Rachel? Like the humidity situation? I think honestly that's what it caused. Because we used to use regular transfer paper. Like it was going out of date <laughs> like it was crazy yeah um but anyway it just doesn't do the same for us anymore so what we're gonna do we're gonna go again make sure this and is Tanner, all clean. yes wes is the crafting truck driver yes that rachel i cannot wait for you to watch that i can't wait to watch I it i should have made it her watch it sooner today but we have had a crazy day it's okay i'll watch it as soon as i get off yeah it's it's so good you can Tanner watch it. sent it to us yeah I, I literally was like guys you have to watch this um but anyway here we go. No transfer tape because we're wild here. And guys, Tanner is doing the middle very purposely. It is so much easier. Oh to do the yes. First. Oh yes. You've got to do the middle first. That's a great tip, Rach. Mm -hmm. Well, you yeah. were you were already doing it. You're the one well, with the, with the just, skills. I'm just like, wow. What a what a tip. <laughs> what a tip. Okay, I'm trying to decide how I want to. And you know what's this. good is that this the middle is very prominent because it's got tips like mm -hmm. the two. So you know exactly what the middle is. So yeah, we're just gonna line that up here. You can kind of lay it down if oh. you need to peel it up. Look how easy. Look at that. Look at this. How cute. Oh. Adorable. Uh, freaking adorable. Yes, Maria says I accidentally used strong grip transfer tape one time. It was oh, horrible. No. Oh my gosh, Maria. That could have been what we did. We could have. I honestly we have could've. no idea what, how we Who did knows? it. Um, yeah, it was, it was, it was a bad time. I'm glad we weren't live. Were, we were live. Were we? Yes. We were. Yes. Hey, we did not stop. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Until no. it was perfect. True. That's. It, yeah, it could have been the greener on the chalkboard, honestly. It was, there were so many. It was like, we had, a, I've been on a print and cut kick, and then it we kicked us. Kick. Well, we went through so much yeah. removable vinyl. Yeah, it ended up kicking us. And Rosie, this is, yes, it's removable vinyl. Yep. Yeah. This is just Orcal 651. Mm -hmm. 631 is not as... Tacky, Sticky, right? Yeah. Rot, right, Rachel. You know your stuff. Rachel knows. Rachel knows. This is cute. I don't I know, know which font I like better. I can't choose. You know? I can't choose. I, I like both of these, like, very much. Bye, Benita. Have a wonderful rest Yay. of your day at work. Don't work too hard. Yay. Work smarter, not harder, Benita. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Rosie said, I think I watched the video you did explaining all the vinyl. I've been watching so many videos, I'm blown away. Oh, yay. But guys, look at this project. How adorable. That's really cute. 
I love this one, guys. Check this out. Check that out. Check Look at your out. distressing skills. Uh, Rachel, I know. I mean, I like both of them quite a bit, but you can kind of see this one's kind of more apparent, like, all the way around. And, you know, you don't really, you know, the red is not so much in your face because it's nice and light all over. Where this one has, you know, some spots where it's still white, but then you really went, we went crazy, like, in a few areas. So you can definitely see with a, a stronger piece of um, sanding paper in more and probably not a block with this is definitely with us using just paper and just doing the paper in certain spots i do love how he did it around the entire edges and things like that so that's adorable but i absolutely love this one as well so cute i mean rachel for less than ten dollars you can make one of these for your home what i love is after you sand it it feels amazing. So normal paint has um, a lot of different texture. It's texture, got a lot of texture. But when you feel this, this feels it's smooth. Smooth as a baby's this, butt. Tanner. This feels really, really good, Rachel. Good. Good. You would love. You know, I, I, this would look like super professional. This is a great tip after you've painted something and you just want to have a really smooth look to it. Definitely just sand it, um, and it'll take care of a lot of it. So yes. again, guys, this is our. Uh, printable vinyl and regular 651 um, adhesive backed vinyl or you can do with sanding paper and you can use heat transfer vinyl. Both look amazing, both feel great. I really like that we showed them two different ways. Like the yes. first one with HTV. I like that. That's neat. Yes. And everyone's wanting to know, so apparently Wes crafts in his truck. In? In, in his truck. So he crafts in his truck. But he also has a craft room with like his family, like his wife and his oh, daughter, and they craft together. I cannot believe Rachel, I'm giving you spoiler truck. alerts for the testimonial video. You have to watch. Like you, I mean, I, I can't I'm wait for you to watch it. it. No, no, no. There's a lot of stuff. So he said he's going to share with us because he was like calling people out. He wasn't in not a bad way at all. It was a really positive way. But he was like, y'all, any of, any of you having a hard time crafting in a small space, like he was letting us know that he, uh, you know, it has to as well so anyway that is so good so i can't wait for you to watch that video yes i love 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 that you guys are sharing your testimonials and miss kathy will be praying for you i'm so yes, sorry to hear you, bless kathy. your heart I'm so sorry. yes go go chill go decompress and then um you know we'll be we'll be here any other time elaine says i crafted my rv it's the way to go rachel we need to craft an rv wait courtney wants to craft an rv a, a mobile crafty hub <gasps> yes 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 um, and if I was doing heat transfer vinyl, I would still do the, um, you know, the little, the little print and cut first. Hi. <laughs> I didn't know what camera we're on. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Um, but yes, so I love that. And it is so much fun. These are really awesome to make. Um, and they're really good. So if you guys are not already a Makers Learn member, go join today. We have you set up for Christmas. We cannot wait to make all these Christmas projects with you. If you're not already a member, so many people have took the plunge, joined, and we do not want you to miss out either. So be sure to hop on over there, grab your membership while you can, and it's going to be a lot of crafting fun. Um, it's going to be really, really good. So cannot wait. I hope you guys are going to have a fantastic Thursday. And if you guys have any questions, um, be sure to reach out to us. Hi at makersgonnalearn.com and be able to let us know what you think. Again, if you want to be entered to win an iPad, be sure to share over in the Facebook group um, your Makers Gonna Learn testimonial so we can check that out and we'll pick a winner on Saturday. Rachel, how many crafty friends have been able to hang out with us today? Right now we have 179. Yay! Well guys, thanks so much for getting crafty with us on this awesome, awesome Thursday. Are there any other questions, yes. some comments, song dedications, and or prayers? Oh, well. We have. We do have a question. Okay, Miss Shonda Shonda. Hi, dear. Shonda. Hello. Says, is the transfer vinyl and six fifty one different? So we did use two different types of vinyl. That's today. true. So we used printable vinyl for you know the little uh, wreath, and then we used Oracle six fifty one red. Um, just regular bottle to cut. So yeah, that's the two we used. So those are the two differences, but we didn't use any transfer tape, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, I hope that answers your question and we are so, so excited. And I hope you guys have a fantastic Thursday. We'll see you back here real soon. Bye friends.